We start with an update this afternoon from the Dallas Zoo. It's the second incident involving an animal at the zoo this month. You'll remember about a week and a half ago, one of the zoo's clouded leopards escaped from a hole in the netting surrounding its enclosure, which police believe was intentionally cut. Let's get out to our Ariel Placencia, who just heard from zoo staff there a little while ago. Hey there, Ariel, what are they telling you? Hey, good afternoon, Damon. So this is the third suspicious incident the zoo has seen in the last 10 days, a vulture dying over the weekend. And zoo staff tells me that they are disturbed by the idea that somebody may have intentionally done this. Now take a look at this picture. This is Pin. Pin is one of four lapid faced vultures here at the zoo. He's been here for over three decades, and these kinds of vultures are considered endangered. Now the bird was discovered Saturday morning in his habitat, staff announced today. Now the zoo isn't releasing too many details surrounding his death, just that he had a wound. Dallas police are now investigating. Now, this update comes as the zoo and Dallas police were already investigating after one of their clouded leopards escaped its habitat. Ten days ago, investigators say Nova went missing after someone cut a hole in the fence. Now, thankfully, she was found unharmed and not far away from her enclosure about seven hours later. But Dallas police tell us they believe the fence surrounding the clouded leopard habitat was intentionally cut. Investigators say they found another similar cut at a nearby habitat for monkeys. I asked zoo staff if they believe all three of these incidents are related. We're assuming everything at this point, uh, and that's why we've brought Dallas police in. Over the weekend, they have been conducting interviews, uh, not only with zoo staff, uh, but also going over and gathering any sort of video surveillance that they may have here at the zoo. Now, the zoo tells us they have stepped up overnight patrols and security. They also say they are limiting outdoor access for some of the animals overnight. 